morning, afternoon. We're just uh, awkwardly sitting in the living room in the dark, waiting. <laughs> we were about to go to the grocery store to get some food for meals this week. Um, and as we were getting ready to leave, we realized that the landlord is actually here uh, doing the yard work and stuff and has our car blocked in, so. Yeah, now we're kind of just waiting for him to finish. <laughs> ah, how are you? Ready to go. <laughs> Me too. I'm really hungry. We were gonna hit it. Oh, that's your foot. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was like, oh, in the window. <laughs> oh no, my battery's gonna die. Me how? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I'll charge this now while we're waiting. <laughs> All right. So we finally made up the house. Uh, we shop at Taco Bell first in the PX or the BX. I'm sorry, the BX. I am I'm an, I'm an army child. I'm a child of the army, so we called it the PX, the Post Exchange. <laughs> uh, apparently, Air Force kids call it the BX. This is mine. Yeah. You can't get your own drinks here. I was kind of shook. There's a lady who her, her job there is to just stand at the drink machine and get you your drink for you. Um, and then they also have. The tables are all, all spread out pretty pretty well, closed off and stuff. And then they have these little papers on the table. So I guess when you uh, when you come when you come it's like this, and then you flip it over when you're finished eating, so that someone knows to come and uh, clean this table after you've gone. So that's that's pretty neat. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. But yeah, anyway. Rambling. Got some, uh, what'd you get? You got the crunchy gordita. I also got that, some soft tacos. We're gonna share a chicken quesadilla. Nothing too exciting, nothing extravagant. Y'all probably like, Ariel, why you showing me Taco Bell? Like, we got Taco Bell in America. I know, but it is what it is. That's what we're doing. All right, nom nom nom. See you later, bye. <laughs> Good morning. We're making breakfast. Here's some cool B roll footage of that action. breakfast we were chilling we were watching some netflix but we're actually going to eat we're actually going to um run on base real quick i'm um, gonna pick up a couple things kyle wants to get his hair did he's gonna get his hair did um and then yeah then we gotta get back here at some point hopefully before 4 p.m because i have italian lesson today because i'm going to be a pro italiano speaker just wait on it just wait on it just wait on it I've been waiting for a month now. Whatever. You can put the camera right there. I want to change. Oh. I gotta move. Chapstick. Not chapstick. Burt's Bees. But we all know that chapstick is chapstick. Like, no matter the brand, it's chapstick. Period. Home. 
I ended up getting a pair of shoes because my dumb self only brought a pair of sandals with me. When I left Tennessee, it was hot. it was warm, okay? Um, <laughs> and uh, I also I also didn't remember what shoes, cause like I shipped stuff when I left Korea directly to Italy from my Korean apartment, and so I didn't really remember what I did or didn't ship. I got, I didn't really know what I had. Um, but apparently, the only thing I shipped over here were a pair of floral like print wedges, a pair of boots, and one pair of tennis shoes. These these tennis shoes, these are the only shoes I had here. And I brought a pair of sandals. So, your girl hasn't had any like shoes that are just like, you know, kind of versatile and I can just kind of wear with anything kind of, you know, situation happening. So, we, while in the BX, ended up grabbing some shoes. So, I just grabbed some bobs. I thought they were just cute, like plain. Oh, there's stickers in here. I did not know that. Aww. Cute. Um, but yeah, I just got some just very basic black little tennis shoe. Um, live my best old lady life or whatever. Uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to uh, wear those with more than, more than one outfit. Um, also picked up some hair milk. Gonna try this avocado moisturizing hair milk from, I don't know how, how to say this, Miel, Miel or whatever. Um, give that a try. And then, yeah, that's all I got, right? Yeah, that's all I got. I don't know, we might either just chill or we might actually put together the table. Got this, this table arrived yesterday, this is the kitchen table. Don't have any chairs to go with it at the moment. Those are supposed to arrive on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so gonna wait on those still. But yeah, so either we're gonna do that for the next hour before my class or we're not. I don't know, we'll see what Kyle. So I was gonna take us out the shower. <laughs> On another note, it is only 2.48 and I am so, I'm so sleepy. We were up probably till like 2.30, 3 o'clock last night. Um, and then somebody was ringing the doorbell at 8.30 this morning and I was like, bro, what the freak? I'm expecting some stuff from Amazon. Didn't, I wasn't sure if it was arriving. Like I thought maybe, maybe that's Amazon ringing the doorbell at 8.30, let's go. Let me go answer the door real quick. And I came to the window to see who it was, and it was an old lady. And I was like, what does the old lady want? Girl, it's 8.30 in the morning. So I thought maybe she was selling something or something. I don't know. So I just kind of like ignored her because she started walking. She started walking away. And then she came back and she rang. Like I could see her like kind of looking around. She looked like she was like looking like, yeah, this is, this is where I'm supposed to be. This is like, you know what I mean? Like um, she was confirming her location, you know? And so she rang again. So then I opened the window and I was like, Good morning. And then she said, some, 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 some. And I was like, and she was like, some, 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 some. And I was like, sorry, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, Italiano, no parlo. <laughs> Bruh, my brain defaulted to like a Korean like grammar structure. It's like Italian's grammar structure is quite similar to English. Like, like I eat an apple in Italian. Like you can, you can translate each of those words directly. Like I io eat manjo manja io manjo io manjo an una apple mela. I eat an apple, but in Korean it would be. Ananan Taba Mogoyo. I apple eat. <laughs> so I put the verb, I put the verb, in, in Korean you put the verb last. Uh, so in that instance, when I was like, all right, here's my moment to speak Italian with a real live Italian person, my brain defaulted to a Korean grammar structure with the use of uh, uh, Italian words. So she was probably like, wow. She can't even form a proper sentence. That girl, dumb. So then she was like, oh, sorry, sorry. And then she like went on, went on her bike. So I think she was in the wrong place. But anyway, I'm just rambling now, sorry. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday and, when, is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it is Wednesday. And originally we were gonna go on a little 
day trip today, but like COVID, it's not playing right now. It's like real popping off. Like I just have, I just took a look at the numbers. I try not to like, I try not to focus on it too much, you know? Um, so I don't really check numbers that often, but I decided to give it a look um, cause I was just curious um, what was going on, you know? It's like almost 30,000 cases a day right now, so. Yeah, me and Kyle were making dinner last night and we were discussing um, whether or not, you know, we were gonna do this day trip that we had planned originally for today. And um, I was just kind of like, honestly, like, I don't really, it's not worth the risk, like, going out. Like, I'd rather just, I'd rather just be safe and stay at the crib, you know? And so we decided we weren't gonna go. Um, so yeah, sorry guys. I know y'all are probably like, dang, you're in Italy and all we see you do is be around the house. Yeah, that's because, that's because of COVID. Um, I wanted to like, you know, go to restaurants and see things and travel, but yeah, Corona ain't letting me live my life. So you guys are just stuck with uh, watching me pace around this house, I guess. Sorry about it. All right, well, nothing interesting happened today. Um, so, yeah, now it's like 7 p.m. and we're having dinner. And we built a table. We did build a table. Say hi. Hi. This is your first time on camera today. Yeah, we will, We built a table. Um, I know we're having dinner. We made some buffalo chicken salad. salad. So, yeah, now we're just gonna chill, eat dinner, watch, continue watching uh, Love is Blind. Funny story, uh, I watched this, this is like, this is my second time watching this all the way through. Um, I watched it when it originally aired, um, and Kyle made fun of me, he gave me so much shit for watching it. He was like, oh, that sounds like a dumb show, Ugh. And for whatever reason, yesterday, he randomly started it, and I was like, and now he's hooked. He's yes. hooked. He's like, one more episode, let's watch one more episode. Yes, no, I mean, that's, okay, that is the truth. <laughs> I tried telling him to watch it originally, but he was so against it. But anyway, that's what we're doing now. So, um, on that note, I'm gonna just go ahead and say GG, good night. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day, or having a good day, or had a good day, or whatever. And um, we'll see you. We'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Deuces.